Welcome back to another episode of Digimon World. I'm your host, Bill Amata. So, last met off here, we cut after recruiting Sintarumon. Now he's going to be a doctor in the city. And up next here, we have a boss battle. Which this guy has a lot of techniques. Damn, someone's cranky. Who are you? I won't let anyone mess up this place. Don't worry, we're just traveling through to save the island. I don't trust you. Get lost! Wait a second! Man, this guy has a short temper. And hot-blooded. I mean, look at him eyes. Buster drive, folks. And yes, it does hurt. You can also use War Cry. And War Cry slightly boosts the stats by like maybe like five or ten percent. I just love that flamethrower. Death by stun grenades. I can get Buster Drive from many different other Digimon, so I don't need that really. Tyrannomon dropped HP chip. Are you by any chance? I told you so. I'm sorry. We don't get many visitors here often. So I get excited about my new job. Dude, that's the fast pass of losing your job. I'm guarding a place called the Ancient Dino Region. It's an unexplored region. Will you show me around? Ancient Dino Region is divided into two sections. Where we live is called Glacial Time Zone. It's a special place. Time goes by slowly. Time goes slow. The other place is the Speedy Time Zone. It's a dangerous... It's dangerous and further than the Glacial Time Zone. It's dangerous because time goes very fast. Like how it says cuz instead of because. The land is bare. Bones and fossils everywhere. And I can't believe I'm actually following suit with him. That's cuz, because time passes faster than the other places? Right, don't stay there too long. Since I'm blocking your way, you can't go there. Figuratively or literally. You lost. I was unlucky. It doesn't happen often. Is that right? I have to go back home. Ask other Digimon if you have questions. And there he goes. If I keep him around five pounds and feed him a little bit, his uh, happiness gauge will go down a little bit. Okay, so leave here and come back is what we run into, Vermillion Mons. So this is the main reason why I have an autopilot. Also, this place is very bad because this is a trap place. The Vermillion Mons here can use a uh, prominent beam as well. But I'm not here to learn techniques. At least not right now. What I'm actually here for is this vending machine. I wonder what will come out. 200 bits each. Should I try it? How many bits do I got? I got an MP floppy for 200. I guess that's cheap. I got a regular meat from that. Another MP floppy. 
Oh my god, come on, come out. What the hell? Keeps giving me regular meats. I'm gonna go broke here. Eight more, come on, I need one item from here. Small recovery. Yes, that's the item I wanted. Moldy meat. It has the potency... ...of, um... ...one, for feeding you. It has a 100% chance of making you sick. Now, I'm doing... ...having this moldy meat on purpose for one recruit. Because it makes it a whole lot easier. However, that's not going to be till after... Rush here dies. Chuck those saber drummons. I've been looking around from the sky. To the north, there's ice and snow. Living in such a cold place is crazy. That's the first hint. I've been looking around from the sky. There's a small city made of iron to the west. But the entrance and exit are closed. I can fly there. That's hit number two. I've been looking around from the sky. There are groups of Digimon that have horns and claws. I heard they make their homes by carving out wood. That's hint number three. I've been looking around from the sky. But in the northwest is a forest with buildings. It's very far. Hint number four. Have you been past the Great Canyon? It's like a maze. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. There was someone who wanted to become a merchant. I heard he has a store somewhere. He's more useful than me. Why is time different here than other areas? I'm sure this place is easy to live in, but... So, you remember that shop I passed back when I said I was going to try to learn technique from Garurumon there? That's where the merchant is. And unfortunately, that is going to require me to get it off screen. For one, it's completely random RNG generated. Whether or not they actually use, they buy the items, you sell the stuff, and you make the revenue. What you have to do is you have to be able to make 3,000 in profits. If you don't, then you just wasted six hours of your life. Or six hours in game, which is equivalent to six minutes in game. In in real life. Give or take. Hmm. I may want to work on defense. If I had a defensive chip, I could I would have easily just went with that. But the moldy meat is for a recruit that I'm gonna be doing a little bit later. I could actually prob probably do it maybe now. Mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. But as it stands right now, with my defense being in the shizzers, I have no chance of being able to continue on from here. So, let's see here. Take this autopilot back. I can learn prominence beam from the Vermilion Mons later. Because Gyromon's not going to be using any fire techniques when I get him. Also, not to mention, I couldn't learn Buster Drive even if I wanted to. That's technique number 10. I could learn Dynamite Kick. Um, what was number six again? I can't remember what was number six. Uh, was it counter? I don't even know what counter does. I've never gotten counter.
And I have no clue where to even get counter, so... See here, I keep forgetting, did I get my meat? Have you heard? There's a strange plant growing in tropical jungle. Yep, there's a strange plant growing in the jungle, which means we have to be able to save the... We gotta go inspect it and save it, but we can't do anything until... Six more days, which I don't know if uh, we'll be alive by then. What is that? It, it's like it's like Batman keeps flying off in my screen. Yeah, I'm gonna do a couple rounds of defense. I'm gonna give like give bonus try like two shots. Cause bonus try is probably the only way I could be actually be able to get a decent amount here. So once I get my defense up to I don't know. Close to three hundred, then move on because my lack of HP right now, it's just going to be a hindrance. Do, 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 do. Bingo! Net folks is bonus try, triple poops. Oh, that delicious, delicious defense. It only took me two tries. But yeah, now his defense is up. So now we shouldn't be taking so much punishment. So, I guess since I've shown you that little bit of me rouletting and getting three uh, skooka poops, I guess I'll explain how the bonus try works. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still complete and total bull and garbage, but what you can do is that little red digivice, save before you're doing it, and then. Just hope that you're really good at slot machines. Sometimes they'll line up, sometimes they won't. It's just a matter of uh, RNG. So, now that we got that set, Centaur will be going to bed pretty soon, and we need to get this happiness uh, higher. It looks like it's... I want to say it's at 40%? Yes, yes. You see his discipline just took a nasty nosedive. Yeah, yeah, that happiness went up. I could probably fit in one more praise. Yep, looks like we're at 70% happiness now. I don't want to risk going any further because if we can, if we can stay, stay nerdy, then that'll definitely help me. As long as I don't go beyond 10 pounds, he'll be able to digivolve tomorrow. So let's uh, speed things up with an hour of rest. Here, I can't. There we go. Getting three poops is really rare. So, on the notion of bonus try, 
if you were to, to train at, say, the boulder, if you do bonus try, then your your base value is uh, half a percent. You get half of what you normally would get if you fail. If you match up three symbols of anything that's not the training symbol, symbol you're training on, it's times two. And if you land it on the symbol, it's either times four or times five. And if you land on poops, it's times ten. So it's really nice. Especially if you have the training manual, all the gyms upgraded, and you land on a three luscious golden poops, which is equivalent to getting three sevens in a casino, then at the HP and MP marks, you can get 999 for just one hour session of training. And I say that is awesome. But it's actually the base amount mark, so... So, in about roughly, I think it's uh, 12 hours in-game. He'll digivolve if I get his happiness all the way down. But we're ready to go take on... Bleh, come on. Actually, before I do, I nearly forgot. I gotta put them... <laughs> oh, I just pictured it. I'm giving Agu a moldy meat to hold on to. Oh, that is gonna stink up the item bank so much. <laughs> Quick, cheese it. Ow, my head. Okay. Gotta take my visor off. Giving me a headache, holding up my hair. So let's see. All right, let's go take on some bandits. One easy way to tell when the probably the the third hardest digi to recruit arrives is when there are no digis on screen. And that palm screen to the right of my head, there's a floating pixie mon. And my opinion, pixie mon is harder to beat than the final boss. But that's my opinion. Because of two things. One, confusion storm. And two, frickin' bug. Bug is the cheapest move in the entire game. Bug can land twice. If, you be, if you're able to delay the stream of the technique, then with... Yeah. You get two hits in with bug. And it can cause pixelation. It's a super duper cheap move. Let's see here. This is the shop I was speaking of, which be able to attain the, uh... We get the, uh, item merchant here. This is the earliest we can get the item merchant, by the way. For... Upgrade. 
and each one will have its own tier and I think the monochrome one had the protection floppies which by the way protection floppies are required for endgame postgame and Piximon because Piximon can spam confusion and pixelate at you and at the drop of a hat and it would take six hours for us to be able to digivolve so but I want to learn muscle charge before doing that so we're gonna go take care of the bandits rumors that this is the road where bandits attack all right let's go rush Yahoo! Ha ha ha! Yahoo! Give up and leave your stuff here, or you'll regret it. Give up. What? You. It can't be. Boss, what do we do? Don't panic. We are stronger than they are, and we have more of us. Go get them. Uh-huh, if you say so, pal. That's the infamous Tremor right there. And that's the confusion making its mark. We're going to moderate. Yeah, Tremor will take everybody else out. Mm, just like that. Now we just got Ogre to deal with. bomb has a homing beacon on it so there's no dodging it and it's dead yatta Orgomon drops HP chip Akamon drops small recovery I'll get even someday Look at him go. They won't be back for a while. Whoa, small recovery. Whoa, HP chip. Whoa, giant meat. That looks like 80%, so we're doing pretty good. Okay, so we got half a day to learn Muscle Charge. Elevator. We're going down. Now, I want Muscle Charge because after Gyromon, the next DG I'm going to get is able to use Muscle Charge. And it's going to make him really great to have. Ooh, rare item. Prickly Pear. Prickly Pear can lower weight, but has a chance of making you sick. <gasps> there it is. The Happy Mushroom. Okay, I don't have to worry about uh, praising him or scolding him. You are an Ogremon bandit. This is your hideout. Jeez, it's the cops. What are you talking about? You were lucky last time. Give up. Wow.
Okay, Gabu's inbound. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Come on, get away, get away, get away. Yes, made it. Okay, I'm gonna save it here because... Okay, so the next spot's gonna have Agus, and they're gonna have the Muscle Charge, so... At least I think they will. Yeah, just watch him go. I'm actually pretty safe right here, <laughs> till they can go away. Attack! Yes, and the music's changed. Now it's more menacing. And one of the Gabus has a sad face, so since we're a data type, there's a 33% there's a chance that they will go uh, and not fight us. Isn't that awesome? Okay, yes, that defensive boost really helped. And I am spamming moves like there is no tomorrow. Yatta. The item drops? Well. Whoa, another idle pilot. In case you didn't pick one up. Okay, these three Agus here, they can use muscle charge. And I want muscle charge, so gonna show the battle and then I'm gonna go backwards get it and then we can proceed with the room next ahead so formation a Yep, that's Red Tower right there. That was heat laser. Wow, they are not using muscle charge. Thunderbolt! Agamadra's small recovery. Agamadra's small recovery. Okay, so they didn't use muscle charge here, so I'm gonna have to go get it. And then we'll move on to the next part. Fighting Ogremon. Round 2.